Um, so I think the displacement should be easy for you. Hopefully you could try that. And the total distance traveled is probably gonna be a little bit more difficult. So in order to find the displacement, the displacement is just gonna be the integral from zero to three, two t minus four dt. So take a second to try those. Take a second to try that real quick. All right, so in order to calculate this, you have to use the fundamental theorem of calculus part two, right? So we got to find the antiderivative of the inside. The antiderivative of um, 2t is going to be t squared. The antiderivative of negative 4 is negative 4t. And then we got to plug in a 0 and a 3. So when you plug in a 3, you're going to get 9 minus 12. And when you plug in the zero, you're gonna get zero minus zero, right? And you subtract the results you get from plugging in each endpoint. This was the fundamental theorem of calculus part two. So in the end, your net displacement is negative three. I don't have units here. Uh, let's just make it in meters. So there'll be negative three meters. Okay, so what ends up happening is you end up behind, behind your starting point. Is there any questions about the displacement? The harder one is gonna be the total distance traveled. So let's do that next. So the total distance traveled. You need to integrate the absolute value of the velocity. And in this case, we're going from zero to three. So I think the first thing you should do is you should find when the velocity is equal to zero. Then the second thing you should do is you should split your integral. And then integrate each piece using absolute value, I guess. The last thing I do is you got to, to integrate each piece. So try that. See if you can uh, get that to work out for you. So I'm not gonna do the whole thing for you yet, but just to make sure we're all like on the same page over here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to first set V of T equal to zero. So that's gonna give me two T minus four equal to zero. I think that gives you two T is equal to four, which tells you that T is equal to two, right? So we know that when we look at absolute value, 
of V of T, I should split it up into two pieces. And the place where it splits is at T equal to two. So um, how do I split it? Well, it's gonna be two T minus four when two T minus four is greater than or equal to zero. And it's gonna be negative two T minus four when two T minus four is less than zero. So if you solve this inequality, you're gonna get T is greater than or equal to two. When you solve this inequality, you're gonna get T is less than two. Does that make sense? So what you wanna do now is you basically wanna integrate from zero to two all right, let me just, let me break it down even more actually. So what we're doing is we're finding the total distance traveled and that's gonna be the integral from zero to three absolute value of V of T dt. And this guy splits as going from zero to three, zero to two absolute value of V of T dt plus from two to three absolute value of V of T dt. So we know that anytime I have an integral going from zero to three, I can split it up into two pieces. And this function is defined to be different on each piece. So on the first piece, because the X value, the T values, sorry, because the T values here are, um, less than two, I need to put this one over here. So this should be negative two T minus four. And for this one, because my T values are from two to three, those values are greater than two. So this one needs to be the positive um, two T minus four. But we're going from two to three here. Is there questions about this, my friends? I have a question. Yes. Um, how did you know to split it up from zero to two? Is that because um, I two found equals two? Correct. So two is the point where it's gonna cross the x-axis. So I know that's my splitting point. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So you should take a few moments to finish this up. So I need you to practice your integrating skills. So take a second to find the antiderivatives and integrate that. I might distribute this one first, distribute like this. So let me give you a couple moments to take care of that.
All right, so not sure if I gave you enough time. I'm just gonna finish this. We're gonna get negative two T plus four DT. And then this part just stays the same. Okay. And then we're gonna go and calculate this uh, antiderivative. So for this first part, it's gonna be um, negative two T squared over two. So we could just realize that those twos cancel in front. So let me just write that as negative T squared. And then the second part is gonna be plus four T and we're gonna go from zero to two like this. And then for the second part, the antiderivative is gonna be T squared minus four T. And now we're gonna do this part from two to zero. And then we just plug in the numbers. So this should be um, this should be negative four plus eight um, minus zero. That's what you get when you plug in the zero plus, the, oops, and then from two to three, sorry, two to two there. So from um, this next part, that's gonna be uh, nine minus 12 um, minus this part will be four minus eight. So this is what I get when I plug in the three, and this is what I get when I plug in the two. Is there any questions about that? So when we simplify this, this part becomes a four, this part is minus three, this part is minus negative four, so that's plus four. So we end up with five meters. Does that make sense? So when we look at this, what happens is we, um, we end up three meters behind where we started, but the total distance that we traveled was um, five meters in total. <laughs> 